fuck out of here, Wargaming. Oh my god. I saw this and I really couldn't believe it. I thought it was actually clickbait. So I decided to go ahead and view it and see what was going on. And um dude, this is this is crazy. So I just wanted to post my reaction. Shit is so fucking broken, dude. <laughs> One month ago, I made a video about five life-threatening moments on Twitch. Wow, did you see that guy? He just fell out his chair. That, I mean, is this like live streaming going too far? Oh my goodness. In the video, I showed a handful of streamers staying up for 24, 48, and even 72 hours straight. Remember guys, sleep deprivation is not a good thing. Your body does not relate to it. You need to slowly, slowly train your body to stay up for long times. Though I have no medical experience, it comes to me as common knowledge that although you may be able to stay up for 24 to 72 hours, everybody is different. And even if Did you see that guy? It looked like he was having a seizure as he fell over to the right. If you can stay up for so many hours, unless you're eating and drinking correctly, then it's probably detrimental to your health. I'm pretty sure in most cases, even if you're exercising, eating and drinking correctly, that it's still really unhealthy. Just a few hours ago, 35-year-old Twitch streamer Hoshi Brit died. He was 22 hours into his 24-hour charity livestream. Sometime after this next clip, Hoshi Brit got up to have a smoke outside and never returned. Okay, let's just kind of stop here for a second. Like, this guy's only 35 years old. I mean, some of you, some of you kids might think 35 is kind of old. No, like, if your parents are 35, remember your grandparents are still alive. That makes them, like, 50. You know, I mean, like, old nowadays is 80, 70, 80. Uh, people are living a lot longer. I mean, and looking healthy. Uh, you shouldn't die at 35. 35, uh, most people are still healthy. That's that's what they call, like, almost at 40, you, like, over the hill. 50, you over the hill. 35 is when you, like, in your peak, your prom, you should be getting ready to take vacations and stuff like that. This this, this is just not acceptable. Uh, kids, don't smoke. Don't smoke. Smoking never helps or anything. Make sure you eat right. I'm not saying you can't have junk food, desserts, and stuff like that. But just make sure you put some vegetables so you can get some vitamins into your diet. Oh, remember, like and subscribe my channel. Please, thank you. I was just sleeping a little bit. Low. Thank you for turning the music up. I don't know if at this point you can see like um, a little bit more than halfway up into the chat. They already see this a problem with him. And it's saying, is he just resting his eyes? I mean, these people are actually like devoted subscribers to his channel. So they know they can see the difference in this gal. You know, he's not looking too good. But I'm not talking bad about the gal. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, bro. During the 22-hour live stream, he'd raised just over $2,400 and even pledged $500 of his own money. So did you hear that? Like, this guy was doing this for charity. He had raised $2,400 and put in five of his own. That's $2,900 that this guy was... He he passed away during the time where he was trying to help somebody. How, how weird is that? The only information I have is what the first responders relayed to the moderators of his channel. Poshi had a decent World of Tanks following with just over 7,000 followers on Twitch. Apparently, he was streaming really hard this week and broadcasted for 20-some hours for seven days straight with very little sleep. Going through his VODs and clips and odd shots and things like that, and based on information that his fans and moderators have relayed, you can tell he was extremely sleep-deprived. During Brian's 24-hour livestream, he went AFK for his smoke and never returned. Seven hours later, Brian signed it to Discord and a moderator sent him a message. Brian responded, but it wasn't Brian typing to him. He identified himself as a detective and asked the moderator to call the Virginia Beach Police Department. The moderator called the police department and verified the detective's identity, who confirmed that Brian had passed away. 
There is a lot of speculation that he had a heart attack due to being 35 years of age and smoking a lot while streaming excessive hours. None of this can actually be confirmed, and like I said, it's mostly just speculation. I've read that being awake requires more resources to operate, which translates into more calories and oxygen, which in turn leads to the heart working harder, which makes a heart attack possible at such a young age. But this isn't a medical opinion, it's just something I've read. Let's pause that for a little longer so everybody gets a chance to read it. Oh, wow. Well. Let's all hope that he is in a better place right now and may his soul rest in peace. He will never be forgotten. A person who stays in our, it should say hearts, never dies. Sometimes when you hurt, you misspell things. You had a lot of love. Man. I got him to kill himself. I got him to kill himself. I didn't even have to do it. A growing trend on Twitch is people stayed up for three to four days at a time to try and set a record. Now this is definitely somewhat dangerous because Polo1325 during a 52 hour live stream started to throb and was extremely dizzy. His mum actually came in asking if she needs to call the ambulance and then Twitch banned him on the spot. I made this video a month ago showcasing somebody who almost died from staying up for so long. He made this thread a day later that said this. Thanks everybody who was watching me do this huge challenge. And I'm sorry I let you guys all down. After 42 hours, I started to feel dizzy and puked a few times on stream. Sorry for the graphic content. When I went to the bathroom, I started to feel way worse and couldn't stop puking. I guess I was too loud so that my mom came in and checked on me and she was asking me a lot of questions and if I needed an ambulance and I couldn't come back on stream. I got banned for 24 hours because I was away throwing up for more than an hour. I feel really disappointed in myself for letting you guys down. Huge apologies for not completing my goal of streaming for 99 hours. There's a few more clips of people literally collapsing and passing out in my previous video, which I've linked in the description. Context is really important. I'm not blaming... Whoa, did you see that guy? Holy smokes, he looked like he drunk. Oh, oh my God. He went to grab the thing, pulling up his pants. He can't even get his pants up before he get back in front of the camera. Oh, wow. This is me Twitch for this. I'm not blaming anyone. Nobody knows the actual cause of Brian's death or any more information than what I'm telling you as of today. This isn't the kind of thing anyone can be blamed for. So don't go witch hunting Twitch that they shouldn't let this happen, even if they enforce only being able to stream for, say, 10 hours straight. What's stopping somebody from not sleeping for three days straight outside of Twitch? Well, I'm not going to bore you guys no longer with everything else this guy's saying, but... I think it's like crazy that uh these people they they take the fame over health. Like you really need to think about yourself. You can't think about how many people go watch you, how many people go look at your video, how many people you know, like how many people are there like you doing things and you're not paying attention to your health. It now maybe if you take into account your health then you'll be okay. Like I've heard of people who who sleep 20 minutes and then they stay up for four hours. Then they sleep 20 minutes and they stay up for four hours. Sleep 20 minutes and stay up for four hours. Like, do some research before you just start to do stuff like that. Once again, I'm not talking bad about Brian. I'm sorry. I think it's sad when anybody passes away. I mean, it's something everybody will do at one point in their life. But it's still sad that it happened while he was trying to do charity, but... I mean, you can't really control when it's going to happen. Guys, just really think about yourself. Take care of yourself. You only have one you. You only have one body. No matter how many subscribers you have, they can never replace your one body. Take care of yourself. Once again, thanks for joining me, the Magic Man. Please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.